first entered the game, it was we we were actually it started off as doing demos in our basement. Okay. You know, from high school we met, and then we went, uh, you know, straight from there into, you know, after we met, we got we got to know each other, got to know, you know, he found out he's a rapper, he can rhyme or whatever. So at that point, I was making beats, and when we brought him to the crib, he was in the basement working it out, and we ended up <laughs> probably doing maybe five that day. And then the next day, we just got so open on what we did, we just did more and more and more until we had like 30 tracks. And um, we, uh, Heavy D and the Boys DJ, Eddie F, yeah. formed, a, formed a production team called Untouchable, where we were doing remixes, you know what I'm saying? And we would take CL and make them rap over them, like Johnny Gill, Basic Black, any Teddy Riley song or something like that, you know, any R&B remixes. And then we went from remixes, to um, me doing solo remixes, then from that we built All Sold Out, which was our first EP. And but first we took the demos all around to different labels, Def Jam, Island, uh, uh, Select, everywhere, every hip hop label that was popping at that time. And Electra was our last choice, and then they they liked it, they heard and signed. And then it was history from there. It was something that you know I had wrote without music, mm -hmm. and I came to the studio, and Pete had a track, but then it, when I put the lyrics down, he said it didn't go right, because he has this ear where it goes right, like <laughs> you can't just put lyrics on it, the music, it has to gel, and he said, yo, listen, I like the lyrics, give me a minute to make the music for it, so we're going to have to come back, so when I came back, and he had this music that was just like, fucking real. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it just fitted like a glove. You know what I mean? So whatever I was saying, it just it's accentuated and it just gave it life. It made it like a movie that you can just listen to over and over again. Not to interrupt you, but rest in peace to Charlie T. Roy is the whole reason why me and him came together to do that one. So definitely, definitely. A good friend of ours that passed away, he was one of Heavy D's dancers, and yeah, so that's what I mean. Incredible, incredible experience. Yeah, and doing a video in the cold, three days, we, it took to do one video. After 10 years without no spouse, mama's getting married in the house. Listen, positive over negative, for the woman a master. Mother Queen's rise in the chapter. Deja vu, tell you what I'm gonna do when they reminisce over you, my God. When I date back, I recall a man off the family tree. My right hand, Papa Doc, I see. Woo. Took me from a boy to a man, so I always had a father. When my biological didn't bother, yeah. taking care of this. So who am I to bicker? Okay. Got a bad ticker, but I'm clocking Pop's liver. Yeah. But you can never say that as life is through. Uh -huh. Five kids at 21, believe he got a right to. Right. Here we go, while I check the scene. With the Portuguese lover at the age of 14. The same age, front page, no fuss. But I bet you all you know they live longer than us. Right. Never been seen now. That's where you're wrong. Uh -huh. But give the man a taste and he's gone. Not no sleep to a jazz tune. I can hear his head banging on the wall in the next room. I get the pillow and hope I don't wake him. Yeah. For this man to cuss here at all in verbatim. Uh -huh. Telling me how to raise my boy unless he's taking over. I said, Pop, maybe when you're older. Oh, yeah. We laughed all night about the hookers at the party. Uh -huh. My old man standing yelling, good God almighty. Uh -huh. Use your condom, take sips of the blue. That's right. When they reminisce That's over right. you, for real. For real, man. something that everybody has a choice to make, you know, whatever music you like. That's the, that's the best part about music is that you might like something that's different. And people, and we are, we are like the first examples of people uh, in a group that, you know, tried to make different music than everybody else. So I can understand that people won't really think that, you know, the music today is valid, you know what I mean? But it's music yeah. and we all got we all have our different ways of creativity and, and putting things together and they might not put things together like Pete Rod and CO School. They might put things together like they do. So you know 
but overall, you have to really respect everybody's talent and everybody's craft. So, you know, that's what separates us from the rest of that. You know, we deal with originality. You know what I mean? So, all we know is originality. You know what I mean? We don't follow any standard or any any genre of music. We just love the music that we like to make, and, and we go out and make it, and, and I hope that people accept it as the truth because it is. It's the truth. We're not, we're not acting, we're not, we're not telling stories, we're, not we're telling, telling stories, real stories, we're telling the real deal. What we call our lives. And, and, and the soundtracks to our lives. Uh, yeah. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Pete Rock. And this is C.O. Smooth. And you're checking out Code Emphasis. Uh, that's right. I'll let you, boy. London. Yeah. Step Pete Rock and C.O. Smooth stuff. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Brothers can't understand me. You know I'm about to drop a funky beat on you. Like this. Hit the war drums and vibrate the earth underneath. Hear my people in I come, gotta wake up the chief. Not a pale frill ghost, see yellow wreck the most. Cause the Mecca land never had a Leo Africanos. The Sudanian, master of the Mediterranean. If it's lovely, I'm the one you're sky paging. Lower than the mole, man.